As more kids head back to school this morning, more school districts are facing two challenges finding teachers and keeping them. Nearly half of the state's public school teachers are leaving the profession within those first five years. At the same time, you have less students pursuing education as a career and the pay, that's just one reason why. 11 Alive's Jerry Carnes in Forsyth County this morning. That is the state's fifth largest district. Jerry, headed back for the first day today. We're hearing from some officials who say this issue of teacher staffing and the profession overall is very concerning. That's right, Aisha. Good morning. For Scythe County is like a lot of school districts throughout the state of Georgia trying to fill open positions on the first day of school here in Forsyth County. The biggest need is for special education teachers and educators throughout the state of Georgia say there are specific issues that need to be addressed or schools are going to continue to struggle to fill open positions, not just today, but well into the future. A trip to Italy told Emily Casey everything she needed to know. And this is me reading with the kids. A study abroad program led her to a classroom where her desire to teach blossomed. The notes from students are a lasting gift. It's like, thank you, your time here was beautiful, and like, we love you. Back home at the University of Georgia, her enthusiasm is mixed with reality. Here in the U.S., we have a lot of um, like standards that teachers have to follow and teachers are more like micromanaged and I feel like in Italy they were trusted a lot more. It's just one of the concerns that has led to a decline in the number of college students pursuing careers in education. The dean of UGA's College of Education says while the optimism of students like Emily Casey is encouraging, the future of teaching in Georgia is concerning. I am very concerned about the number of students we're seeing expressing an interest in education across the country. There's been a steady downward trend. She points to the State Department of Education's recent report titled Teacher Burnout in Georgia, created by a task force of teachers. The report lists issues leading many educators to leave the profession, among them that teachers have, quote, endured unrealistic expectations. Teachers say they want to be more involved in planning and allocating resources. They feel like policymakers and administrators are making decisions about what they will do, what schools will be like, what their classrooms will be like, without listening to teachers. Emily Casey says the issues would be a distraction if she allowed it. In most days it's like kids just need a teacher who believes in them and clearly somebody has to step in and do it. A classroom full of kids in Italy encouraged her, convinced her that she should be part of Georgia's future when it comes to education. And we have been watching teachers arrive here at Brookwood Elementary School in Forsyth County for the first day of school here. The good news for them is that there have been pay increases over the past couple of years and another one set to take effect this year. There is also less emphasis on tests as a way of evaluating teacher performances and educators applaud those moves, but say there needs to be more to keep veteran teachers and encourage more to join the teaching profession here in Georgia. Back to you. All right, we need them and we appreciate them. Thanks so much, Jerry.